Is Fruit Haven still growing? Well, I'll call you after this. I think so. I mean, we might not be buying additional land. People are kind of renovating their existing houses. But here's one, this one. And uh, yeah, some unfortunate events. People that change their diet, they change their lifestyle, they change their personality. They don't want to be a part of this community anymore for various reasons. Or even maybe they don't want to live in this country anymore. We're in Ecuador. So, what to do? I mean, we'll just keep going. Uh, we'll keep going and growing. The grass is green. And it's not greener elsewhere. It's the same color. Maybe worse. So, what to do? Uh, we'll just keep on humming along. Yeah. So, some of you may know, people who moved not on, that are core founders. And, um, yeah, it's a challenge. We have to transition because there's a lot of projects that have been left behind. A lot of debts have to be paid financing um, yeah the existing owners we still have about 40 owners we still have all their properties <laughs> and the titles are still ours so yeah steep hill but it's been a dry week hot day and uh, most importantly our fruits are producing have abundance of meringue, abundance of bananas as always, papayas, jackfruits are coming, and many more are growing. Just over there, I have this area where I planted lots of durians, jackfruits, champadec, sugarcane, black sapote, mangosteen, rambutan, ice cream bean. Yeah, delicious fruits. And this whole area has got really awesome development. The climate is awesome. The people are great. The locals are friendly and hardworking. Generally, honest, things are cheap here. And that's a really good thing to do. To be here, increase the economic value of this area. Because the climate is really good match for um, a lot of these amazing tropical fruits. And so yeah, we'll keep being vegan, keep staying fit. There's some people changing their lifestyle and that's a part of why they want to sell. Some people still want to maintain their land and they're okay with being uh, plant-based in the community areas but yeah we have lots to think about do we want to maintain that sort of community where we're going to turn a blind eye to people that aren't vegan the cool wasp nest on my jackfruit it's looking really pretty so we might not be vegan because yeah i used manure but I would never consume any animal product into my body. So the trees, yes, they love our manure. They love the chicken manure, the guinea pig manure, horse manure, cow manure, human manure, you name it. <laughs> but for us to eat the best food, we know that a fruit is number one in the right quantities, the right quality, the right micronutrients. There's a champadec, extremely sweet fruit that can give you cavities. If you're not careful, you're going to blame it on the vegan diet. It's not this fruit that gave you the cavities. It's your oral health. How do you combat it? Right now, found a good solution using xylitol. 
So yes, it's not natural, but it does come from a plant, it's tree sap, or I think they also derive it from corn, but it doesn't matter. It's a chemical which comes from a plant, one of two options. What it does is it um, basically has this fake sugar. So you just sw swish it in your mouth, spit it out, don't swallow it, because it's bad to swallow, but if you keep it in your body, <laughs> it's not good. But in your mouth, it tricks the bacteria that normally would be feasting on this sugar. Delicious, delicious, nutritious sugar. And what happens to this bacteria that gets tricked? Well, they die. They die, at least for that moment, and your teeth will be saved so different techniques giving more gaps between meals letting the teeth recover that's one way to do it there's a wild apple tree that was here before it's quite sour but also has some sweetness life force energy and it is amazing because it's wild <laughs> it just grows on its own really healthy things are thriving so yeah, there's my structure here. Just gonna maintain some things, grab some empty sacks and get more manure, fertilize the plants. And we don't have to rely on this fertilizer. At least a couple of years of fertilizing vigorously. So there's one jackfruit with fruit on it there. And that's only about two and a half years now. Anyway, so yeah. We got wood, we got ideas, we got, yeah, a lot of options, and uh, it's a big playground, really. There's a lot of land, and a lot of land for sale in terms of lots. There's a m massive amount, really. A lot of lots with grass, a lot of lots with trees. It's got many options, whatever your heart desires. So, we or changing owners and maybe we're stagnating in terms of the number of people but I think it's more important the quality the quality over quantity many people agree with that here so do we have to grow at a massive rate I don't think so what are the visions what are the goals of the people here and what are your goals in life just enjoy nature and um yeah, so I'll wrap this up. It's pretty good, actually. We'll have a walk and talk like I did in a while, a long time ago. Check out those pretty seca trees. Those trees are massive. And uh, they're really strong hardwood, actually. A lot of this wood comes from seca trees, including the structure that's built. They're actually a nitrogen-fixing plant. Here they are producing their seeds here. And um, it's like in the mimosa family. And they grow wild all around. There's large trees there. So yeah, tree house in the plains. In the plains, I have some ideas. In the ideas stage. All right, so yeah, if you have some thoughts, some comments, and uh, write them below in the comment section. Subscribe, like, share. And uh, see you at Fruit Haven. Check us out, fruithaven.org. And um, if you have any emails, send it to my email or Telegram. Have a good one. Peace.